as Dragon continues to raise its orbit over the next several hours. Dragon SpaceX for a close burn. Yes, we are just about 15 minutes out from the close burn. You can expect a tank transition approximately four minutes during into the burn from land tank to orbit tanks. Additionally, there will be a cabin fan swap during the burn and or just after the burn. And SpaceX is go for the close burn. Go for the close burn, and we copy the uh, tank swap and uh, cabin fan. All right, that back and forth that we just heard there uh, between Crew Dragon and Core here in Hawthorne uh, was basically just saying that we are uh, go to begin the closed co-elliptic burn. Uh, which, like we said, is going to be uh, raising Dragon's orbit. Yeah, coming up in just under 14 minutes, uh, the crew, uh, you'll, you'll hear them get a lot of details in these calls. And for this crew in particular, we know that they've asked for every little tidbit about Dragon to be on their displays or radioed up to them. And... Literally what they were being told is just some of the different tanks that are feeding these Draco thrusters they're going to be transitioning between, and they told them they're going to have a cabin fan changeover. That's something that would be pretty audible, as just like on board the space station inside Crew Dragon, there's a lot of kind of ambient noise for these crew members, so they're able to hear things like the cabin fan, which is constantly just moving the atmosphere inside because you don't have natural convection in microgravity, so hot air doesn't rise unless you're, so you have to actively be moving that atmosphere the entire time. And so these crew members are trained to expect to hear different sounds, different sights when they're going through these different maneuvers, and so they like to get those kind of updates from the core and the teams down here on the ground just so they're not caught off guard for anything. Yeah, exactly. So like we said, uh, this will be the third of five major burns that Dragon will be performing, and it is the last burn that will be occurring before Bob and Doug go to sleep. Uh, they've already had their meal. They will hopefully be giving us a little tour of Crew Dragon here in uh, the next several minutes. And then they'll have a quick medical evaluation with their flight surgeons, and then they get the okay to take an eight-hour long nap. <laughs> and again, we want to make sure that we're allowing them to the best of their ability get those full eight hours. Uh, so that is why you know we have this close burn, and then we'll do the last couple. Space of X Dragon. Go ahead. Hey, Laura, would you mind taking the cameras down for a couple of minutes if it's convenient? Sure, we can disable the interior cameras for you. I did have one additional question on the breathing masks when you have a minute. Go ahead. Yes, we were wondering if you had pulled them out and stowed them yet. Yes, we have. They're right next to uh, each of our seats. Okay, copy. Thank you very much. And Doug, just want to confirm, we do have no interior cameras configured. Thank you. are just under 11 minutes now from that next burn. Not, haven't been tracking any issues with Dragon so far throughout today's flight. Hopefully we keep that up over the next couple of hours until they make their way all the way up to the International Space Station. This is going to be, as Kate was saying, the last burn for quite a while. We won't do the fourth of our five burns, that transfer burn, uh, for almost another 11 hours from now. So uh, Dragon's going to just kind of stay in this uh, attitude 
or altitude below the International Space Station, about 10 kilometers or so, roughly co-elliptic with it uh, for quite a while, pretty much throughout their entire sleep period. And then once we get to pr right after their wake-up time, uh, we'll be looking to uh, do these final burns, and then they'll be in much closer, uh, just about two and a half kilometers below the station's uh, orbit, and that'll set them up perfectly for that final approach and docking. Yeah, we're now at this point two hours and 50 minutes into the mission, and it's safe to say that everything has been going extremely well, and to this point, very nominal. SpaceX Dragon, you're cleared back on board. Copy all. Thanks a lot. And Dragon SpaceX, when you have a minute, I'd like to sync up with you on the media event. We uh, are available. Let's uh, talk about it. Okay, so if you have the PDF open, I've got a couple of sections of talking points. I was thinking that you could get through a couple of those sections if you have a preference. We are open to what you'd like to do. Yeah, I think after the introductions and potentially the, the displays, I think uh, whatever you guys want to do from there uh, would probably work. Yeah, Doug, if you want to show some good views out the windows, that might be really cool for everyone. We definitely plan to do that uh, if we're still in a day pass. That would be cool. We should have some good views for you during that ground pass. Excellent. So, Doug, if you guys can get through section A, B, and maybe C, and just as a reminder, about two minutes from LOS on the ground station, if there is a break in your voice comms, I'll give you a reminder of that two minutes. 
Okay, copy that. Thank you.